Well, now on this video, let us look on how to make money work for you on the 2023 or 2024 or henceforth as the time goes now. Before I actually tell you exactly that, what do we mean by when we say that money works for you? And I want to define this difference for you. I want to draw a difference between two things that people tend to confuse at the same time. There is something called business and there is something called investments. So those two things are different. What do I mean? When we talk of business, we say they have high risk and also they have what we call high returns and meaning you work for it, meaning that you have to wake up in the morning, go show up to your business and actually make some several calls like you're engaged or you're involved in that business actively. That's what we say, you working for the money. On the other hand, we say investments. Investments usually have what we call low risk and they usually have what we call the low returns. And with that regard, it means that the money is working for you. For example, say today you buy shares of a given company. You don't even need to make any call. You don't even need to show up in that company early in the morning. You don't even need to make an overnight call or maybe follow up or something of sort. All right. You just relax and the money actually comes to your in I mean, to your account. And when we say investment and when we say businesses, we tend to make a difference between those two because sometimes a person approaches me and tells me, hey, Joseph, I have like 100K, I have 1 million and I want to get myself into business. And then you will tell them, hey, you can do hardware. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm looking on an area where I can put my money and be getting a return at the end of the year. Now, they are talking of investments only that they are using the term business. Now, having me drawn that difference between the two, the investments and the business, now, let me show you how exactly you can make money work for you in the year 2023, 2024, and henceforth, all right? And this is exactly how we go about it, all right? Let's get into the business. Now, the very first thing that you're supposed to understand when you want money to work for you is that Hang on a second. Did I tell you that I always post a video each and every day? Uh, yeah, I do post a video each and every day talking about investments, how to make money, and all those kind of areas. So if you would like not to miss any of, you, of my future good videos, do this. It doesn't cost you anything and it is free of charge. All right? Head over to the, I mean, down below there on your right, there is a small button written subscribe. Hit that magical button, turn that notification bell, and like this video. And by only doing that, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new good video, right? So let's get into the business. Now, the point number one, if you want to make money work for you, one thing that you're supposed to consider is that don't hold it. Meaning, don't hold the money. What is to hold? <clears throat> Have you ever seen these people usually control like the sugar in our country? Or maybe they control a certain wheat or something. And then what they do is that they hold it. To hold is to take that thing, you store it, create a crisis, and then after you create a crisis, and then you produce that thing. So to hold is to actually retain that thing. And people tend to hold money. And there is a difference between saving and holding. You see, saving it's keeping money, accumulating money, or storing money with the purpose of reaching a certain amount of money, which we call the capital. You take that capital, you invest it, then that capital gives you what we call the baby money, commonly known as, known as the passive income. All right? That saving. Holding is whereby you have a, this mentality of what we call, you know, scarce mentality, and whereby you believe money is a scarce commodity. And you believe whenever you get the money, you're supposed to hold it still because it's hard to get. It is not out there. It is not in plenty. So you have to keep it by yourself. You go lock it in a bank. You go keep it in a bank or something of sort without a purpose of you investing that money in future. And let me tell you one secret. A penny saved is always a penny. It hasn't grown in anything. All right. So the point is avoid holding it. Accept and appreciate the fact that you need to put that money on the go. Appreciate that you need to put that money on the down, down on the stream for it to make more money as you progress. So the first step that you're supposed not to do is to not hold your money. Accumulate the money, yes, on the process of saving. Get the capital, invest the money on different areas. And I'm going to share with you, so you better stick to the end because I'm going to share the you areas on how you can actually invest your money and let it work for you. Number two, consider what you're looking as an interest and the frequency at which you want to do that interest. Let's say there are different areas how you can actually go ahead and invest in and, and actually make money work for you. And I've been giving those examples like a million times. I've been giving examples of rates. These are real estates and what have you. Meaning that maybe if you do not have a lot of money to get into the real estate, you can get into the thing called 
rates r e i t s rates that's like buying shares on the real estate it's like you've built a certain virtual house somewhere you you know uh, you're charging the rental income and then you're getting profit out of it rates is a group of companies or is a company that actually comes together collects investments from different people usually called it the security and then they take that money they invest in the real estate so once they get the profit out of the real estate they now share that profit with the investors that is exactly what we call the rates that's an area that you can pick and you'll be earning like you're there you know you're earning rental income and you're just an individual who has never even reached a million bob or maybe you don't even have a piece of land but you have a rental income somewhere that is coming from the rates as far as the dividends or the interest rates are concerned that's an area that you can pick all right again you can pick an area like the money market fund all right i've been talking about like a million times you can pick an area like something called like the bond fund like the index fund like the balanced fund those are areas that you can actually put your money you know some are, some has called the hedge fund and what have you so those are just but examples of areas whereby you can keep your money but now what makes you pick this one or not the other is what we call the you know what we call the interest that you're looking forward into getting and the frequency and also the purpose for example maybe you're looking forward into investing this money so that you can qualify to get a bigger loan you take that bigger loan and then invest it somewhere so if you're looking forward into getting a credit then think of a circle you can think of a circle get into that circle and of course when i say get into a circle i prefer when you get it into or into that circle with at least two or three members out there you can organize like you say you guys you're four of you you can organize together and open a circle so that at least whenever whoever wants to get the circle or rather get a loan among us then we can guarantee him or her that's how we do it because otherwise if you get into a circle as an individual then you can get frustrated as if you get into a circle as an individual with the purpose of getting a loan then you can become a little bit frustrated based on the terms that they're gonna give you on how they issue their loans all right are we together up to that particular point have you learned something and are we doing something on that so what makes you differentiate this is what i'm gonna invest on and not this one and not the other is on the purposes of why you are investing you get the point and the interest that you're looking forward into getting all right number three diversify and don't put all your eggs in one basket that's what we say when we say we diversify for example let's say you have a million bob or let's say you have a fifty thousand. what i say by you diversifying is that you don't put all your eggs in one basket you can pick two things that you want to invest on number one say you're looking forward into one day getting a loan therefore it means that money you're gonna fix it you're not gonna be withdrawing that money all right so you can pick a circle all right and then let's say you have the capacity of saving say like 5k at the end of the month or 10k at the end of the month you can divide that money into two you can decide like 7500 goes towards my circles and then 2500 with that regard to 10000 2500 you can now channel it towards the money market fund why because on circles you cannot be able to do you cannot be able to withdraw your money anytime you want therefore it's a very good way of saving your money also and you know <clears throat> increasing your credit record therefore you can be able to get a loan and you can get a loan in two ways you can guarantee yourself or you can as well, uh, you know, uh, you can as well be, you know, guaranteed by or you can get some guarantors and get a loan. So you have two ways. Now, therefore, what does it mean? Now, if you put your money into the circle, you're growing your good credit score. If you put another money on the money market fund, that money you can actually, it's giving you interest. It may not be as big or as huge as that of the circle, but at least it's making you some interest about that. And actually it's placing you above the inflation. So your money is safe all right so that means that the money on the money market fund you can withdraw it you can access the money that money whenever you want it just in case of an emergency and of course you know very well in this life such emergencies usually happen so it's an area that you're supposed to consider when you're putting your money the other thing that you're supposed to do is that uh, you should pump in more money and grow your portfolio what does it mean you have identified you've stopped holding you've actually considered what you're looking for in terms of interest and the frequency of getting that interest and most of these investments where the money is working for you the returns are usually per year not per month that one i think i should let you know is usually per year not per month maybe the exemptions of cases where the interest usually paid semi annually maybe that after 6 months with the case of the treasury bills and bonds and some of the you know uh, shares in given companies that usually give the interim share dividend and at the end of the year whatever now you pump in more money 
money after now you diversify then you keep on pumping in more money to those different areas where you've actually invested you put a little bit here you put a little bit there you put a little bit there therefore this one this will be bringing you income this one will be bringing you income and the other one will be bringing you income so when you do that collectively it means now you have a little here you have a little here and you have a little here. when you put all that in one basket you're gonna be in a good state and you're gonna be making a huge amount of money and let me tell you one thing all right but before I tell you that one thing, how about I did you the last one, then I tell you that one thing, all right? So you repeat that process and perfect it, okay? You have identified the areas of interest, you have actually input your investments, and you have actually identified, you've diversified your whatever, and you've actually pumped in more money, then repeat the process. And that is how you create a portfolio. Remember one thing that I always tell you, you know, wealth, it is intentional. And wealth, it's actually created. It does not fall out of the blues. And what you're supposed to do, control the controllables. Do that what you can as you wait that what you want. And that is exactly how we go ahead and create a good portfolio as far as the investments are concerned. And what I wanted to tell you is this. This type of investments that I'm talking about does not require an humongous, an outrageous amount of money. Anybody who is out there with as little as you can. For example, there's a money market fund that you can actually invest with as low as 100 Kenyan shillings. 100 Kenyan shillings. So it means that if you can go ahead and identify that company, invest that 100 Kenyan shillings each and every day. There's a video I made about that. You can check it my, on, on my previous videos. As low as 100 Kenyan shillings. You can actually create yourself a good portfolio of investments and then in later days you can go ahead and make some good amount of money. That is a exactly what we do all right the other thing is that these investments actually do not as well require a lot of you attentions and all those kind of things the other thing is that they have low returns or rather they have uh, low risks meaning that your money is actually safe you pick something like you know treasury bills and bonds what does it mean it means that Honestly speaking, that's a quite a safer way of investing your money. And therefore, uh, when the time reaches, you can go ahead and withdraw your cash and you can actually decide to invest in other different areas that you find appropriately. All right, for now, that's the end of my video. But don't forget this. You can pick my number from the description of this specific video. You give me a call. I offer services pertaining to personal guidance on financial literacy and I charge for just a cup of coffee price. Or you can decide to pick a booklet on the same. And that booklet goes for 280. I also have booklets about areas on where you can be able to invest just like I've said. If I talked about money market fund, I have it. If I talked about treasury bits, I got it. If I talk about shares, I have it. About circles, I have them. Just inbox me, tell me which one you want. We talk business, a copy, it's only 280 for now. It's a good buy, but don't forget, smash that like button and consider subscribing. And as well, comment down below, tell me what you think. For now, it's a good buy. See you there.